we're gonna ignore the fact that I need to wash my hair and I'm not wearing makeup. My skin needed a break. So don't judge me for looking raggedy on the internet, okay? Don't judge me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another Howard video. I got my Howard shirt on. Um, I swear like once you go to Howard, like you end up with like 500 million shirts. I'm going to be doing like a question, like some people ask me questions like via social media, so I'm going to be answering them. Um, I know this time last year I was really nervous to be going to college, so I wanted to do a video to help kind of ease people's anxiety um, because making connections and like having kind of a mentor is really, really helpful in your transition to college. First question was, do you have to attend Summer Bison Prep? And you don't have to attend the Summer Bison Prep. It was just recommended, but it wasn't required. But if you didn't go, well, nothing's going to happen if you didn't go. But if you didn't go um, and you have a problem like with your schedule or something, um, you should go talk to your advisor as soon as you get to school. Because I know last summer when I went to Bison Prep, I had a problem like switching my major. And I got it resolved at Bison Prep, so I didn't have to do it once school started. So if you have any issues like that, make sure you see your advisor as soon as possible if you didn't go. Second question is, I've seen people talk about a math placement exam and was wondering, is that on Bison Web or does everyone do it on their own time? So, the math placement exam um was online through like proctor u or something um everyone is supposed to take it however i personally didn't take the math placement exam because i got into like algebra like the lowest level of algebra and i thought it was going to be easier to get a b or an a in the class if i started at the lower level because i really suck at math and i still ended up getting a c so <laughs> It was just, I ruined my own transcript doing that, so I would just take the math placement exam and get it over with. The third question is, I have a lot of dual enrollment in high school, and was wondering if any of those credits would count. So dual enrollment credits are supposed to count, um, and I was just talking about this the other day, actually. If I could go back in high school and do over, I would not take AP and instead take dual credit, because I know some people who had enough dual credits that they shaved off a whole year so they were like already sophomores for their freshman year so definitely go talk to your advisor and see what credits can transfer if you have dual credit fourth question is how do we register for or pick our classes so for your first semester you don't register for your own classes your advisor does it for you and they make your schedule and everything at least that's how they did it for us i don't know if that's the standard but they choose our classes they chose our classes for us, so like kind of if you're stuck with a class you don't like your first semester, you're just stuck with it. Like if you got an 8 a.m., you're just stuck with it. There's not much that you can do. The fifth question, do you have any tips regarding being a business major? Being a business major is a lot of work, but it's really beneficial and my greatest advice for being an SOB is to network and make sure you go to class, make sure you're wearing the right stuff to your class because there's a lot of like influential people that come in and out of SOB. Um, like in your freshman um, business orientation class, you're going to have a lot of different companies coming um, to present to y'all and everything and you get an opportunity to talk to them. So I would definitely take advantage of that and to network not only like up but like across as well because I've mentioned this in my other video but your peers are really talented and a lot of people in SOB already have their own like clothing businesses or like other stuff like that so definitely like network amongst your peers as well so the sixth question is are the class schedules really that crazy or can you actually still have a social life so I think this all depends on your major and how many credits you're taking because for me i was still able to have a social life both fall and spring semester and i took 16 credits 16 or 15 credits as kind of a reference so i found that it was an easy enough for me to balance and still be able to have a social life and do stuff 
and go to brunch with my friends on the weekends. Seventh question is, does your room come with a mini fridge or do you have to buy your own and when do you find out roommate? Standard for last year was that if you had a triple, your triple came with a mini fridge. So I don't quote me, like I don't know how it's going. That's how it was last year. But if you were in a double or like a regular room, your room doesn't come with a mini fridge and you can bring your own or you can rent one. I rented one through my fridge rentals for the school year and they drop it off in the beginning of the year and come pick it up in the end and it was very convenient. And then as for meeting roommates, you don't meet your roommate until you move in. So it's a very hit or miss. Um, I got lucky and had a great roommate and we are like very very best friends. The eighth question is does everyone always look that good all the time? So the short answer is yes. You can walk on the yard or walk to class at any time of day and there's always going to be people looking very put together in face beat, edges laid, like everything like you're just popping and that's like, it's not discouraging. I think it was more encouraging for me because Howard really has some of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my life. And so I really liked seeing all these black people with different styles, like dressing how they wanted to. So like, yes, everyone always looks good, but you don't necessarily have to dress up. Like you could catch me walking to class and like this t-shirt and I guess this isn't even a t-shirt but this shirt and like some leggings and some tennis shoes and I called it a day because I was going to class and going back to my room like but like when I wanted to pop out like I was wearing what I wanted I mean just wear what you want that's the thing but you look good when you feel confident so yes everyone always looks good the ninth question is was it hard to make friends so for me it was not at all hard to make friends um I actually am still friends with some people that I was in a group chat with like before I even got to Howard. So like two of my closest friends like Morgan and Diogene, we were in the same group chat for like months leading up to school. And when we got to school like we kind of got together and we were still close friends. And then I brought my roommate into the mix so now all of us are close friends. And then my other friends that I made like they were really good friends as well. So. I don't think it's hard to make friends you just have to kind of find your niche and like there's so many spaces for people at Howard like you will find people that you are gonna sit and be like where have you been for my entire life because like it's just like it's an amazing feeling finding your friends in college so I wouldn't worry about that the 10th question is my best advice for freshman year so my best advice would be just to stay true to yourself. College is a place where you're gonna be learning a lot of lessons about yourself, you're gonna be learning what you like, and it's very easy to get caught up when you start doing stuff that isn't really like you. So I would say like just stay true to yourself, like wear what you wanna wear, don't feel compelled to keep up with Howard culture. Um, just do you, like you're gonna attract like people like like-minded people by being true to yourself and they're going to support you and love you and push you to be the best version that you can be you should just stay true to yourself because from a personal standpoint i was intimidated everyone had warned me about howard culture and how everyone's always dressed up and like i was a girl in high school that would literally wear like a shirt that i slept in to school because like i did not care but like so i was freaked out but when I ended up buying clothes for school, I still bought like, you know, my leggings and my t-shirts. I just made sure that they were actual t-shirts and not sleep shirts. And then I like made sure that my clothes at least just matched. Like if you're matching, like nobody gonna be worried about you. Nobody checking for you. So that's my advice though, because I stayed true to myself and didn't really let stuff get to me and just, you know, followed my morals, followed what I felt was right and yeah that would be my greatest advice and those were all the questions that i got trying to gather questions before this video of course if you have any other questions feel free to dm me my socials are all in the description box below if you ever need any advice or a mentor or whatnot don't hesitate to contact me because mentoring is something that i'm really passionate about i love to help 
others through spaces that I have already been through and share my experience. So yeah, I hope that this video was at least a little bit helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!